First things first, you want to open your browser on your Windows 7 or newer computer and go to tuning.performancebyie.com. You want to click the download button here. Then you want to select which dongle you have. You want to install the drivers. And then you're going to select flash your car, click the flash wizard button and install that. This is actually going to bring up the flash wizard tool that you're going to use to flash your car. From here, select tune. This is the most important part of the preparation process. It has to be plugged into a battery charger. If you don't have one, Stop the process right now because you could break your ECU. Then click next. At this point, you're going to connect your power link dongle to your OBD2 port, and then you're going to connect the cable from the power link dongle to your computer. Then it's going to have you turn your key to the on position, which is just one click clockwise. If you have a push button start car, push the on button without having your foot on the brake. If you have your foot on the brake, it's going to start the car. Now it's going to take you to the VIN registration stage. So you want to register your cable to this car. And then it'll take you to this window where you're going to select which tune you want. You can either do the original file, which is your stock tune, if for some reason you want to take it back to stock. Or, like me, you can select the IE Stage 1 91 Octane Tune. Once you select that, press Next. And it's going to take you to the actual flash screen. Just click Flash and it'll start for you. It's going to remind you one more time that you need to connect your car to a battery charger. This is super important because the fans will run during the tuning process. If you haven't finalized your purchase already, it's going to bring this window up. Just click the Purchase button. And then it's going to ask you one more time to register your VIN with this cable. It's going to download the files for the tune. At this point, it's going to start the tune. You need to sit and watch it while it does it because it actually has you interact at a couple different points. At this point, it's going to have you turn the ignition off, which just means turn the key one click counterclockwise, or if you have a push to start, just press the button one more time to turn it off. Once you've done that, click the ignition is off button and let it do its work. Then it's gonna have you turn the ignition back on. So that just means one click clockwise if you have a key or if you have a push to start, that means foot off the brake and press the button once. It's then going to continue with the tuning process. I'm gonna speed this up for you guys so you don't have to wait and watch it. Once it's finished, it's going to have you repeat the same process of turning the ignition off and turning it back on again. So one click counterclockwise, click the ignition is off button, let it do its work. And then turn the ignition on, one click clockwise or foot off the brake and press the start button. And that's it. You successfully flashed your car and it's ready to drive.